In this video I'm going to show you how to create a checkout or a payment button in Stripe that you can use on your website, embed it there, or you can create a link that you can use on your own so your clients can pay for services and products. So to do that you need to log into your dashboard, go to the settings on Stripe and then go to uh, checkout and payment links. I simply searched for it quickly and here is where it appears. Checkout and payment links. From here, scroll down and one of the most important things in this process or the first step really is to ensure that you have enabled client only integration. If you haven't done it, it will ask you to enable that. Then you may have to make sure that you have your domains added here, both without www and with www. Uh, and then you can go to creating products and services. I have one cr product created here, but I'm going to show you how to create that. So add product title or name. Uh, you can upload an image if you want. Uh, add product description. And then there are some additional options, but I'm going to skip them for now. And I'm going to show you some pricing details or pricing models. So you can price per package. You can see uh, variations here. So per unit, for example, you can use a graduate pricing. So for first or for second item, um, or you can use volume pricing. In my case here, I'm just using a standard pricing. So uh, let's say 200 euros and there are two types of payment recurring or one-time payment. For recurring, you have a few options there or, or you can choose from here or uh, um, a custom option, but I'm choosing once uh, off payments, so one-time payment. In additional options, you can add price description. I'm just skipping that for now again and I'm just saving the product. So here is the product created with all the details. You can see the image, you can see the price, uh, product API and some additional info. So from here under the pricing, you can create a payment link or get your checkout code. Let's start with creating a payment link. Click on that button and this is the preview here of how your payment page will look like. So you have your image, your price, and the space for a client to add a credit card detail. You have a few additional options like uh, promotion codes. Uh, you can let customers adjust quantity. Um, you can collect customer addresses. I'm just going to ignore all of them. And you can also customize your confirmation page. So for example, you can add your own uh, custom text if you don't like the uh, default Stripe text. And here is how it may look. You can also choose not to show confirmation page, uh, but if you do show a confirmation page, you can preview that on a big screen and here is how it can look on the mobile device. And the same can be done for payment page. So you can see how it looks on the mobile and how it looks on the big screen. So let's click create a link. And it brings us back to the our service payment or product payment page. Copy that link paste it into the URL and here it is. Here is how your uh, payment page looks like. In case you're not sure where to find your products, they are at the very top in the menu. Just click on the products and you can see all the products you have created. So here are my products. Uh, to, uh, let's go to the test service payment product. We already looked at how uh, we create a link for the product uh, payment that you can share with the customers. And now let's look how we can embed that link or button on the website. So for that, you need to click get the payment snippet. And here is where you can see the code that you need. So copy that code. You don't have to highlight, you just click copy and then go back to your website. Uh, whatever editor you use, um, add the HTML code to the, to your website. Uh, in this case, I'm using Elementor. So I'm just dragging HTML element, inserting my code here. And here it is. Now you see that the color maybe doesn't match the, uh, the, the color scheme of my website. So I'm just going to customize it a little bit. For that, you need a little bit of coding, but don't worry if you don't know much about coding, uh, we can use a simple word to HTML editor. 
Uh, I'm just going to find a section where the button is, um, design of the button is created. So I just search for a button uh, and I'm just going to, so this is, this is your button basically, but I'm actually going to copy the entire code, go to the HTML editor. Uh, this is an example. There are plenty of them online and paste the code on the HTML editor side. Okay. And in here you can find a section, I'm just searching for a button, so it will tell me where the button design is and I can see the color here, so I'm just going to replace that color with something that matches that design, so it will be green. Okay, so that's the code for the green color. And then also um, I'm going to replace the text, I want two months of support, let's say. So this is going to be appearing on my button and that's it. Again, I'm just going to copy all that code with the new design and paste it into my website. So you will see now the color of the button, its alignment and the text on it has changed. Uh, I'm going to save it and here is the preview. Okay, let's test it, click on it. And it should bring me to, yes, exactly the same link or the same page as I had before. And now I'm going to test it. It's a test uh, a version. So I'm just entering a dummy credit card details. And here it is. It's processed. 